Miraculous change in the village of thieves. Ever heard of a village known for its thieves? Lu Wu, a village in Guangdong, China, has ideal climate and natural conditions for cultivating orchards. But every harvest season, its 600-acre orchard becomes the target of collective theft by the villagers. Every household in the village joins in the pilferage, and fruits stolen are then sold on local markets to bring in cash. Local government spared no effort trying to curb such flagrant violations of law. A few serious offenders were even arrested and paraded through the streets. But villagers were not deterred and continued their thievery. Yet, an amazing turn of events made the villagers have a change of heart. One may wonder what had the power to do what both the authorities and the laws had failed. In early 1998, Falun Dafa was introduced to this small village of about 300 residents, among whom more than 80 people began doing the practice. Through studying its teachings, they came to understand a principle in this universe, no loss, no gain. Since then, these villagers never stole from the orchard again. This soon spread to the entire village, and over time, the thievery ended completely. That winter, Falun Dafa practitioners held a conference in Guangzhou to share their cultivation experience. Villager from Luwu attended the conference and shared her story. I didn't know the principle. I thought public property was up for crabs by anybody. Now I have learned about the principle. To gain, one has to lose. A town official was deeply impressed by Falun Dafa practitioners and said, Falun Gong is so wonderful. It did what the law failed to do. I am going to buy a Falun Dafa book as well. What an amazing change it was. The miraculous change Lu Wu villagers went through epitomized the tremendous impact Falun Dafa had in China. Hundreds of millions of Falun Dafa practitioners conduct themselves according to its fundamental principle of truthfulness, benevolence, forbearance in their work, homes, and communities, raising their moral values and striving to be better people. Dear friends, has this miraculous story inspired you in any way?